even before the death of Emperor Gaozong eight years ago, the word of Wu Ziten, his wife, held sway. Since then, the Empress has wisely guided her emperor sons, deftly managing each like a hand puppet. Now, after refusing the throne thrice, Sui Zhong has abdicated in favor of his shrewd and cunning mother. Thus, our exalted empress no longer hides her authority behind a curtain. Unfettered by strings, she now reigns supreme over the doings of the imperial Tang court at Chang'an. As chief municipal minister of the empire, a heavenly empress has placed you in charge of building a second capital at Luyang. Capital cities have been built previously near this site, but no former ones were as great as the new Luyang will surely be. The sage mother, China's first woman to sit on the imperial throne, has also appointed you to oversee construction of a beautiful temple complex. Should you find a restful moment, she would also like for you to procure a handful of exotic animals from the far reaches of the empire. In this way, she can better understand the marvels and vastness of her greater estate without having to travel to its four distant corners. Finally, to make the city's elite wards even more pleasurable, large and exquisite private gardens can be built to beautify your city. No doubt the city's well-to-do citizens will appreciate having one of these elegant parks near their Xiehe Yan. Guys, welcome back to Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. We are here on the Eastern Capital, a time of grandeur. And is that how you pronounce Xiehe Yuan's? It's never been pronounced so far, so I think I've been saying it wrong. Anyway, we have to build a temple complex, a population of 3,500, five menagerie animals, 150 people in heavenly compounds, which we have gotten before, they look fantastic. And it sounds like we've got some new private gardens, and also the Sage Emperor has abdicated the throne to his mother, who is now the Sage Empress. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and go to the city. Okay, slow the game down, pause the game. Oh, it was already paused, okay, fantastic. Let's see. As with many of these missions, we start with some ruins, indicating that we're supposed to be building around here. We probably should. Uh, they do tend to scatter little bits of rocks, but based on the last mission we played, I'd built five, you know, I'm not building fancy blocks anymore. I'm building a more natural style. I did uh, I did four rows last time, and I still struggled with employment at the start. So I think I'm going to start with just six. I'm going to build six roads of houses right from the get-go. But let's see what resources we have. There is some um, iron ore deposits down there. Looking at the map sort of makes this a bit easier. Uh, is it just iron ore deposits? Do we have any animals on this map? we got pandas. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got farmhouse, hemp farm, soybean, cabbage, wheat, hemp, and fish. So we have four types of food straight up. Mulberry trees, silk, no tea though. Okay, so uh, let's check our industries. We do have clay pits, we have logging sheds, steel furnace, weavers and paper makers. And the kiln. Okay, so we're missing some things. Checking the map, we are still trading with Kashgar along the Silk Road. We are pretty... Chang'an was the old capital, right? So we are pretty surrounded by allied cities, so I expect to be no direct military on this mission. However, usually when we're so protected, the Outer Reaches requests military, because Lhasa down there, they've been, uh, they've been invading us a little bit. Alright, so let's get some stuff planned. Now, I want six... Uh, housing blocks right from the get-go and I'm just gonna build them very very scattered so I'm looking for the rocks I think I will just clear the rubble because it's messing up my perception of things leave the trees first because we might need the feng shui because we are of course doing perfect feng shui which I've been told gets more and more difficult as we go along but it's fine uh, also, since starting up this new um, dynasty, 
we have learnt the power of taxes. Now, do I want to build this close to the edge of the map? There's no rocks here. There's rocks here. Okay, so I probably want to use these rocks. And I'll need a sort of central distribution system, so there's no rocks here. So I will have like a mill and a warehouse around here. And have the markets and areas going around here. Okay, looks good. Clear this off as well. Lots of flat coast here for fishing. Which probably should get on. Fishing is considered good, right? People always tell me I should fish more in this game. Okay. Uh, by the way, just... We probably can't build a mint, right? Because I don't see any copper ore deposits. Okay. Now, let's build our housing blocks. So there's a rock here. So I can... Just have this road. Yeah, I'll be a little more blocky this time and actually hook things up. Last mission was very rough, but... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this up. But this will be the end of the road here. And this is going to be... Is there any way I can make this look good? See, looks are important on this playthrough. <laughs> also, wait, just checking. We were told we can build a new private garden. Oh. That's nice. What's that at the back? Okay, I'm not going to place it yet, but that looks nice. I love how this game just slowly introduces more and more things. Right? Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here... We probably actually need to be efficient with this rock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Should I just break this? I should probably just break this. Because this is all green grass, so... I can just have that right there. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna do that. And leave some nice room here. And then we're gonna go... I'll just start at the corner. Ancestral shrine right there. Yeah, okay. That looks good. So do that. Uh, we could have... Yeah, there. Leave room for some service buildings. So we're gonna have... This. And I'm going to build... Just a grand way. Along this road. Okay, I'll do this. We can fit a decent number of houses along this road. We'll need to leave a little bit of room. And what I'm going to do is... Market. Market. I think I just extend the market out, right? So I'll do that. Make some room. And the market square can fit right there. We'll just need to streamline the process a bit. We gotta use gates. Residential walls. What color are we using today? We haven't used red for a long time. Let's use red. It is the capital, right? Yeah. So we'll be using red walls. So now, that's one block. I can just have another block on the outside here. I just clear off some of these trees. Yep. We can just have... Bend it a little bit. Yep, that looks good. Um, I probably want to extend this road out a little bit like that instead. To make room. But also check feng shui. that. Just extend this road until the feng shui is good. It doesn't have to be that far. Okay, so up to there. I think that's correct. Yes, good. 
Uh, this... Yeah, I'll use residential gates there as well. We'll need the inspector's tower. Get rid of that tree. Really? Is it that tree? Okay. So because that's there, I need to use roadblocks to make sure that guy doesn't spawn that way. Okay. And then we just have more houses. Oh, aesthetic roads first. Along here. Yeah, that works. So this is our second row of houses. Okay. These rows of houses are pretty populated. Maybe... Uh, will four be enough? I, I always struggle with employment. You know, if I just do this right from the start, we don't have to struggle so much. Okay, there's more rocks over here, so let's clear off some trees. Make sure we can have our nice inspector's tower. You know, I like the rocks in front of the inspector's tower like that, right? Actually, yeah, that, that looks good. So we're gonna have that there. And just... Another row of houses here. I forgot the aesthetic road, but it's okay. We'll just have one without the aesthetic road. How long is this road? I think I actually want to clear that road. Go one more. Then have room for the market square here. Clear one more there to make sure it can go up to there. Yes, that looks decent. Is that how I want it? Probably wanted two back. Yeah, there. Leave room for some services. So we got market square here, market square here, market square here. So they're all very close together. See how that's very important? Now I need at least one more. If this market square is going there. We can use this rock here as well. Probably should clear these trees so that I can have another inspector's tower. Right about here. Have this road do this. And we're gonna hook up a road up to he uh, That's a little close. The market square is going there. So I actually want to get rid of that tree, do this, and probably bend this road a little bit sooner. To do that. And we'll have this road extend out like that. Probably need to bend that as well. Let's do that. We can't do that. It's gotta be there. Okay. Leaving room to, for the market there. Having the market there. Okay, good. Houses. Got. We need to do this, get rid of that. 
because we're gonna have fancy roads. Let's unpause the game. Because this is gonna go here. We can do that. actually needs to be one over okay I'm just I'm just painting in my mind <laughs> right, I'm just painting in my mind that goes up to there and we have the red residential walls locking off these areas that's gonna work as normal yep that's gonna work as normal good we can put a cherry tree right there. Isn't that fantastic? Okay. <laughs> um, houses. Right, we need houses here. have a couple houses there yeah clear that and we can have the market square there okay that looks good so people are gonna start moving in now so we have four rows of houses I'm open to building another but like I can maybe I should just go we need a big population right 3,500 I probably should just do it now so let us just do a fifth one Right here, I'm gonna have a road build this back area. And there's no real proper connection point, so I just destroy a house, I think. And I'm gonna... this road doesn't have a fancy road anyway, that should work out nicely. The roadblock will be there. The houses... Aesthetic road along here. Hooking that up, road blocking there. No, I can't do that. This has to be a market. One more. Chaos Fangs, thank you so much. This is going to be a slightly smaller road. So doing that is going to be important. That should still fit a decent amount of houses. Yeah, that should work okay. And we can have fishing going on down here. Okay, so this is going to be our layout of the city. I like these, these uh, you know, straight roads sort of thing. Let's let people move in. I'm actually going to save right here. To make sure I don't have to do that again. Hmm. Try having the housing blocks share market squares. That could actually work, can't, couldn't it? I could very easily combine these two. They're not loops, so it's not gonna be perfect, but... If I just do this... Instead and have this clear this road. I could put like a grand market square here. Get rid of that house. Yeah, and just have a road come up here. 
It shouldn't be too far. So let's get rid of that. I will need at least one more house here. If I were to do a grand market square, like this, have this open to market employees, have this open to market employees. Wait, we also need it open to building inspectors. These are closed, so they can walk here and here. It won't be 100% stable, but it should work. Also, the road should be there, so it's one shorter going down that side, because that's a longer road. And I think it should reach... And we can just have, like, a red residential wall there to protect from some desirability. We can have one more house there, okay. And I'll see how that goes. Good. Industry. Make sure we prioritize safety to very high. Let's get the wells down. How am I doing this? Yes, I want the wells down this side. Okay, can I do... Uh, yes. Okay, well, 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 well. Okay, good. Let's have these people move in. Okay. People are moving in. <sighs> now, to feed this many people, we'll need to farm, we'll need to Fish. Farming is probably just better overall. Uh, how do we cross this? Bridges can't reach, right? Yeah, we're gonna need a ferry crossing. I guess it's saying I should definitely cross here. Let's do that. Do ferry crossings collapse? You know, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna prep for it anyway because I'm gonna need this here. For future fishing. They don't? Okay. But yeah, we're gonna need fishing wharves down here and we can have fishing wharves on this side as well. The rocks are there, okay. But let's, um, let's set the farms down. Lots of green grass here, so no problem. Uh, I'll just... To feed this many people, we're going to need quite a lot of farms. Probably at least four. Oh, we got salamanders on this map. Okay. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna need room for the hemp farms. Uh, which... Three? So I built a lot of houses. So what we're gonna do is have these roads extend out this way. Okay. It doesn't really matter how far it is. Have that do that. So none of this stuff collapses. I miscalculated. One, two, three. Oh. I have to, don't I? <laughs> okay. Hemp. Okay. Now to mix crops. Oh. Chaos Fangs, thank you again. I think lines. Lines are always good, right? 
So we have, what do we have? Soybean, cabbage, wheat. Soybean. By the way, doing this, although is aesthetically pleasing, it also ensures that... Oh, I technically should be the other way, shouldn't it? It'd be faster that way as well. You know, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. I can save a little bit of money by doing this. Okay, so it's like that. It'll be quicker to do it this way, right? And keep things more even. I was saying it's not just aesthetically pleasing. If you do it against the direction of the road, it ensures all tiles have the same number of crops. So that's soybean. Cabbage. Really hope I haven't messed it up. I think it's correct. And wheat. Perfect. Yes, I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's all about the good looks. Sagely nod. Yes. Triangle nod. We are the Sage Dynasty, it seems. So, yeah, this is how it's gonna go. So, that's a lot of farms. People are starting to move in. We're gonna need a place to store everything. Which should be, like, behind all of this. Do we have any rocks back here? Oh, I can just use that. So I'm gonna bust this down, clear some room here. We are gonna have a grand market square here, right up against the road, which means it goes up to about there. Correct. Yes. And we are going to have... The road continues straight out. You know, I will just bust this down. Is there something there? I can't build there? Is there any reason to go up this ramp? Oh, there is copper ore! So there is a reason to go up that ramp. Fine. I clear some of these trees. Perfect. Okay, that's gonna watch that so that I can have... The mill, right here. And a warehouse. It's not the best if it's that far back, but it has to for the feng shui. And this is going to be getting... Um. Ceramics. Probably should allow 12 to sit in there. 12, 8, and hemp. Which we can just accept into here. 12, 8, that's 20. 16 hemp. T8. No, okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. That should get... Allow us to get a lot of things going. Yeah, I'll put down the market squares. We have 100 people. Fantastic. So the grand market square is going there. The rest are common. 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 There might be some desirability issues. We'll we'll figure that out. Because um, I need to make sure we have red residential wall, red residential wall to block those off. 
we can do one here as well. So this can just be walled like this. This one is open to market employees and building inspectors. These are closed to both, okay. I think this is gonna look real nice. Now this is gonna be set to just getting uh, four types of food, which is wheat, cabbage, fish, bean curd. Yes. Okay, we spent a lot of money. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna wait for people to move in because we need to make sure nothing actually collapses. Uh, Safety is fine, but there's no one working in agriculture or commerce right now. Okay, we just need everyone to move in. What I plan on building the monument? Not here. How big is the monument? Temple, it's big. Yeah, probably like, oh, there's rocks in the way. They would. Here, the monument can go right there. Elite housing can go out here. Oh, yeah, I think that's where I want it. Yeah. Now, in terms of government, I need an administrative city somewhere. the road yeah, that, that can work that looks okay so that I can put down the mint I need access to that copper ore so it just needs to be there to make sure it doesn't collapse. Okay. The mandatory building of every mission that has zero decision making involved. <laughs> uh, okay. Everyone's moving in. Fantastic. I forgot to boost up wage rates. Okay, 140 workers needed. Most of these houses have room for more. More people are gonna start moving in. Farming's gonna start here. I think, yeah, even these houses down here have not moved in properly. Okay, that's fine. I'll squeeze in the ancestral shrines. What? Why are there beggars? No room in any of the houses? There's houses everywhere. I'm not sure what their problem is. I'm not sure what their problem is. Um... I upped wage rates, so everyone's being paid very well. Maybe it's too many slums? Too many slums? Well, once more people move in... We'll get some food in, right? Hemp will come in as well. Uh, oh, that reminds me... I sh Really? He doesn't reach? Perhaps I should be trying to evolve these houses, yeah? Uh, these, um...
So let's scatter some trees around. Why is that on fire? Are we being sabotaged? Why are there robbers? I guess we're gonna need to start putting down some watchtowers, huh? Okay, okay. There are some security concerns. My administrative city burnt down. Is it too many slums? Is it because I've never built this many... I've never encountered this before. What is going on? Okay, now the problem with this is... Everything's gonna start burning down. Because... All of these guys are off fixing some other problem. So let's try and just maybe get these evolved a little bit. So they spawn more. We've got 500 people. Great. Okay. We can evolve that. We can try evolve this as well. Okay, uh, we're fighting some of these guys. Are, are these just straight up riots? Is it? It's not unrest. Wh where are the bug beggars coming from? How odd. Also, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to evolve this one. At least that's a shorter road. Okay. That's gonna almost double our number of walkers. Okay, our administrative city is burnt down. <laughs> okay, but I think that's gonna start solving the, the crime problem. Did anything else burn down? I think we're okay. Okay. Oh, a little bit of food came in. That's nice. Maybe I... Uh, whatever. Whatever. We're gonna need herbalist stalls. Because people are going to start getting sick, yeah? Okay. Huh. That was... Stressful. <laughs> why? I, I don't know why that happened. I don't know what that was about. 49 workers needed. Most of these houses are still not filled up. Even the ones by the edge of the city. Okay, more, way more people are coming in. Okay, okay. What? I don't know what was going on. They were just rioting. I mean, this city is going to look magnificent once we're done with it. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. It's going to look so good. At least all the markets are pretty close by here, okay. Okay, no entertainers. Is something burning? I just hear the fire sound. Why? Why? 
I think I have to move this so that we can get this evolved. Because something odd is happening here. Oh, the well burnt down. That's what's missing here. Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> oh, that's bad feng shui? Wait, no. It's good feng shui. It's okay feng shui. I think it was just the poor people. There we go. Houses re-evolved. It's fine. It's fine. We have unemployment. We can actually drop wages here. We've got some food coming in. Okay, everything's being farmed. Lizaran, thank you so much. Ah, that was weirdly stressful. Um, now, I do want my administrative city back, if we can, please. So that I can... It looks like no one's planning to ally with us. So I'm just going to send a diplomatic request to open trade with everyone around us. Lanzhou, Cheng, Du, Yang, Shou... Liang Xiao, Changzu, Guangzu, Yen, and Nia. Okay. Good. Why is there a Confucius voice line? We don't have anything Confucianism in here. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Um, we can get the ancestral shrines down. That'll be fun. Really? It's bad feng shui all the way up to there. Thousand people, great. Probably just need to extend this road a little bit. Okay. Ancestral shrine, I wanted it there. And this one... Yeah, we do actually have to get rid of a house. Okay, good. Okay. Feng Shui, 100% perfect though. That's good to know. Uh, cabbages are pretty much in. Um... Uh, this is soybeans, so soybeans are being harvested now, okay. So if the soybeans and wheat come in, we'll have a solid three types of food. That's good to know. We can just start feeding these two central areas first, straight away, yeah. So meanwhile, I need to secure a source of money. Silk, 24. Lacquerware, weaver, paper maker, kiln, logging shed, silk. Yeah, okay, let's slow it down. I'm not irrigating these farms, just realized. Um, so we need room for the elite housing. 24 silk's a little hard to get, actually. Can we manufacture weapons, by the way? We can. So I guess I should just go ahead and get that going first, right? Stock up some weapons. Let's do that. Let's do... Two weaponsmiths. We'll also need a logging shed. this road to there. 
inspector's tower. And a place to store weapons. I just clear off some of these trees. I should be able to. Okay, so that we can stock up on weapons. For when we need them. These need steel, this needs wood. Okay, so that's all gonna go there. Okay. Now money, we're gonna need silk. Now I was told the silkworm sheds actually function better if they only have 20 trees per shed. Is that true? Is that true? Is it- it's like about 20. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was told it should be like 20. Because of how it maths. If that's true, we can actually... Yeah, farms struggle to work all the tiles. So if that's true, what we can actually do is I can just have, like, a silkworm shed. We can go one, two, three away. So if I put a silkworm shed here, and this is going to be... Let's get this function. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that's 21. So according to what I was told, that is more efficient than filling it out because they work the tiles more efficiently. So if I continue along this path, not only do I save a lot of space, because this is basically just... Like a third? Yeah, it's like a third. So I can continue along. One, two, three. Do that. And I can get... I keep clicking the wrong thing. One, two, three. do this what there we go okay 25 workers needed so that is actually more efficient I think I think don't forget the fishing space I'm probably not gonna rely on too much fishing and there's a lot on this side I haven't forgotten it don't worry so that's four of those so I will then need weavers. They're all land trade routes, right? Silk, lacquer, spices, jade, tea, silk. Okay, um... Any of other... Another 12 to Chengdu, that's a land trade. These are all land trade routes. So we can sell a lot of silk. So to Chengdu, that's 12. Kashgar is 24. Chengdu and Kashgar. Could I just have the manufacturing down this way? It's probably less efficient, but... We'll need some silk for the fancy houses, but they can go get it, right? So yeah, I can just use this area back here. And I'll need two for each one. So we need eight of these. So they're gonna be manufacturing the silk. So that's four to eight. So if this is correct, this should just continue working. And I'm gonna need a trading station to Kashgar. and a trading station to Chengdu. And we're gonna be selling. That's 
silk. And we should have secured a source of income. We now have three types of food. Is hemp at all coming in? Hemp is starting to come in as well. So that's three types of food. Are we going to get the soybeans soon? I think they're harvesting now. Okay. So I will go ahead and go to commerce, shops, food shop. And have two food shops and set it to minimum appetizing food. We can also go straight into the hemp shop. Because the hemp will be coming in. And we're going to need to start taxing people. Outrageous taxes. Zero cash uncollected this year. Yeah, these people don't pay any taxes right now. Okay. I'm actually going to save here. We're doing a lot of slow setup right at the start. But even now, I'm short 131 workers. We need to... Prioritize agriculture. But make sure religion is going as well. Okay. Make sure agriculture doesn't slack because we can lose some stuff. I probably should just shut these down for now because these are 11 each. I just realized these are going to burn. Right. So what we do need... I'm actually going to do this to guarantee their safety. Okay, hemp is now coming in. Uh, paper makers. So I can have the paper makers around here. but we would need a place to store the paper. Another fire. How? Do they just not walk far enough? That's gonna burn, so... Surely this is not too far. Are they always just walking up that way? So they never reach down this side? This is not the longest road in the city. Why is he only walking till there? Let's just have another one. Okay, um, I needed to make some room here by getting rid of these trees, so I can roadblock that, have this road extend out a little bit. I need to clear these trees, so I can do this and have this just holding paper for now. So it can distribute things out. We are feeding some people. Fantastic. We do have three types of food. Uh, I didn't put an ancestral shrine here. Um, I thought I covered all of this. There we go. Okay. These are all evolving. They need some hemp. More people moving in. 54 workers needed. These aren't functioning yet. No silk is loaded up yet anyway. It's fine. I can have another silkworm shed here. When I need it. What, what is the harvest of this? Next season begins in April. Okay, that'll be starting soon. Lots of foods coming in. We're selling fried bean curds. Okay. Roadblock roads going down the hemp farms. Thank you. I did not notice. 
so it's gonna roadblock that since he does reach that far. And we're almost broke, so we just need to manufacture silk as much as possible. Uh, I should also probably just start taxing people, right? So what we want to do is have a tax collector here. And I'll actually get rid of this house. So I can put down two tax collectors. Here. Really. Oh, now... Oh, it doesn't like trees. Okay. So we have two paper makers, so taxes should be collected to these guys. They're paying very high wages. Outrageous taxes. Now, I think I've somewhat overspent. <laughs> and we don't have any allies, do we? Agreeable. Respectful. Wait, which is higher? Agreeable or respectful? I want someone to give me money. Thinks highly of you. He won't entertain any of your requests, but you can always demand things you want from him. If he feels your military is stronger than his, he'll probably comply. Agreeable. Won't entertain... What's the difference between agreeable and favorable? The gods, the ancestors of... Nuwa is unhappy. What can I give her? Vegetables. Uh, I have some cabbages. <laughs> okay, these houses have evolved. We're in debt, so we might as well just... Keep things going. Don't really have a good spot for these things, but okay. Let's put down music school so we can evolve these houses further as well. Papers being delivered, taxes are gonna start being collected. Uh, do we have enough food to just like feed people? Probably. I should go all out on silk. And as people move in, I will feed another block. This one's a nice easy one. Appetizing food, okay. Bring more people in so we have enough people to turn on the weavers, which we are going to need. Two more. So this should supply enough silk to, for the whole year for two weavers each, right? As far as I understand, that is what I've been told. And if we could just sell, Massive amounts of silk will be okay. <laughs> uh, this is a classic example of expanding too quickly. Did we really use up all of our hemp? Surely not. We used that much hemp? I guess the first feeding down here, right? Okay, these need ceramics, so we're not going to go into ceramics anytime soon. Uh, we're getting unemployment, so I can start activating these. Enough people should be moving in. Don't overdo it. But I gotta wait for the next hemp delivery. I think the paper makers actually did take a lot of hemp. Okay, the musicians are going down that way. Clear up a little room here for decorations later on. Okay, good, good. Uh, three hemp farms and we just exhausted it that quickly. Really? Wow, okay. Zero workers needed. Okay, we can continue activating these.
so what's the harvest season for this? September. June, July, August, September. Is this really the most efficient way? All the weavers are activated. This should produce 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. It should max our silk exports. The silk's already being harvested, look at that. So they, they didn't even get to all of those trees, did they? I can't tell. I can't tell. Where's the monument site gonna go? It's gonna go right here. Minter. Why is he... There. Where is the other copper ore? It's all just scattered randomly, huh? Five lacquerware vessels for a festival at Young Shu. Really? Changzhou buys silk. Sells lacquerware. Okay. Wait, is that right? I'm sure. We need to buy five lacquerware, but also we can sell another 12 units of silk, which means I probably should just. Boost up weavers. More silk. We're just gonna be in debt for a little while. So it looks like they can't even get, like, they harvest the silk as they go, right? They harvest silk as they go. Two percent unemployment. What is... Who's dying? Oh, okay, the woodcutters. Okay, I don't mind them dying. <laughs> Not too important. Okay, for taxes... We are... Not taxing this road. So, I actually do need to bust down that house. So that I can start taxing here. Is it the tree they don't like? Yes. So I can start taxing there. Look at all that hemp. We haven't even irrigated. That's a big problem as well. I didn't leave a gap for irrigation. <laughs> uh, I forgot about irrigation. We should be producing enough hemp, right? I'll put down a hemp shop. Okay, 7% unemployment. 2,000 people, really, we're at 2,000 people. So now we just have to sort out money. Once we sort out money, we can then explode. Right, right. Okay. So we go into pretty heavy debt for this. That is... I want five. Why'd you only send me four? So silk's starting to come in. Silk sells for... 225 each. It's actually worth more than the lacquerware. Yeah, if we just sell all the silk... Can I not buy 
five units of this. Do I have to buy extra? I, I hate it when games do this. Oh, we're out of money. We're too much in debt. I see. That's why we can't buy a fifth one. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. We just need to... Uh... You know, taxes just from this is 2,000 cash a year. That's... That's outrageous. Nia will ally with me. Allies sometimes give money. Nia, could you could you give me money? What do we have a lot of? I see cabbages. Nua, have some cabbages. We have an ally. Dear ally, may I have please some money? Can't make any requests of them? Oh, because we can't afford the envoy. <laughs> I can't afford the, afford the envoy to say, please give me money. Um, so a lot of silk should be coming in. We have 8% unemployment. A lot of weapons are coming in as well. Nia, please, please be money. Please be money. It's money! Except. Thank you. Okay, now we just need that one unit of um, lack aware. And also, I'm gonna drop this to 12 to make sure more silk goes to the other trading partners here. We have sold zero. Why have we sold zero? Are you coming? It's been a long, dusty road. Okay, yes, you're coming to buy. So looking at the weavers, they're pretty well stocked. I have to see if they're still working at the end of next year. If they're not working at, uh oh, if they're not working by the next harvest. But how much do we have? Three, four, four, two, one, three, three. Three. So average three, this is one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's two here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten, an average of three ish. But we've produced. So that's 30, that's 40. We're producing just over 40 units of silk a year, I think. And if we're selling 24, 12, 12, that is. 24, 12, 12, that is 48. So we should be just about maxing our exports. I missed it. He called me a gibbering buffoon. Okay, I have to wait. Uh, I just went into that. I'm in the positive now. Look how much money we are making. Okay. <laughs> Let's guarantee that we are maxing our exports, but also I want to go ahead and put down an infantry fort, please. Let's do that. So we can start training some military. Uh, I also want to boost up Silkworm Shed by doing that. Mulberry tree. Nope, it crossed the road. That's not what I want to do. Okay, we have money now. That's great. Uh, with money... Oh, that's so much more hemp. Thank you. We can now start feeding everyone. Uh, market. Hemp shop. Yes, let's celebrate. Um, government. Tax office, which doesn't like trees. Okay, we're gonna feed that area. This is appetizing food as well. We have plenty of food to go around. This grand market to two housing blocks is actually working kind of nice. Uh, we also need to have more paper makers. So let's go one, two paper makers. 
uh, I can go ahead and have my new common market square right here, which also can start feeding food shop, time shop, appetizing food, and tax office. Okay, so we have four paper makers. Peasants demand a raise. Okay, that's fine. Dispatch now. Thank you. Don't buy any more. Okay. I wanted to have two more weavers. Okay, for the new farm over there. Employees needed. It's okay. We're evolving all these houses. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Uh, these need... What? Appeal of the neighborhood. Okay. I still have money. Which means it's plum tree time. Good function. Very nice. Making improvements right now. There we go. Making improvements right now. They just wanted plums. That's all. Uh, infantry is coming down. That's great. We can open up this to make sure we have a road going round. To have... All right, we need a palace for that. Let's not over-expand again. This costs 375. I need room for the monument there. <laughs> I always have these as an afterthought. I never plan for... I always end up having a palace down here, but... Also, besides that, I need... Irrigation. Irrigation pump. It just needs to have a road touching it. And then we can have... We can do that. At least it irrigates a little bit. Okay. Does this not count? Where does the road have to be? There. Okay, fine. This is not irrigating. And on this side... Do these need to be irrigated? Getting a lot of silk. I suppose irrigating the silk does help. Don't mind them. I will irrigate the silk. That should boost our silk production even more. Can have... Okay, we've made some money. This will also... Help secure our food production by doing that. I needed to leave a gap so I could have an irrigation ditch go right down the middle, but... None of this is irrigated, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we definitely need more silk. I've irrigated it and I have an extra farm, so... Have that do that. Uh, make sure there's access there. Do I need this connected? Probably not. Okay. Tons of money coming in. Yeah, not a lot of unemployment, but a lot of people are moving in, which means now we can clear the monument site. And we can get started on the monument. Build on clear land. What's in the way? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I want to leave a little bit of a gap going around it. 
Yeah, it's going right there. Because we're going to have the road go around it like this. Look at our money, by the way. Just look at our money. Off-world shipment launched. Look at all the money. Save the game. Guys, we are now gonna fly. The hard bit is over unless we get invaded and die immediately. Uh, which, um, what does this need to get going? Wood carpenters. They need the carpenters. So let me just... Do this. Because I don't know what will and won't burn down. Get rid of those, get rid of that, yes. Come on. Good feng shui. Um, and we need... This road's not connected to anything. No, good. Uh, actually, I need this... I'll just have a second one. Yeah. We need this functional above all else. Okay. We'll need a storage facility. Holding... What does this thing need? Wood and... 16... Uh, monument. It needs... Wood, stone, clay, dirt. Stone? Oh, just 15 stone. Okay. One clay. Dirt. That's not a lot of stuff. 30 wood? Um, where's the stone? We would set this to get, like, 12. I'll set it to 16. That's fine. Uh, stone... Are we importing stone, then? Uh, what we do need is... Eight racks of weapons. Six months to comply. Commerce. No, commerce. Stockpile. Um. Okay. That makes things a little bit complicated. I'm gonna make some room here. Can do that. We can do that. And have this extend like that. We can clear the roadblock. Shift the roadblock to there. And we probably need... Another logging shed. Okay, those guys are dying. Don't worry about them. Okay, now. Monument. Laborers camp. No, wait. What do we need? Can the laborers camp go here? It can, actually. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Let's clear some trees here. Get to those rocks. Warehouse. Road. Logging shed. Holding. Getting 16 stone. Holding 16 wood. Okay, I know I Zack Zen there for a while, but we're getting everything going. Uh, Nuwa is unhappy. You know, have wheat this time. Neglected, okay. Um, papers in, hemp. Are we really short on hemp? Is that really a problem we're having? Okay. There. Okay. 
we can actually have that like that. That irrigates more of it. So that's not so bad. We now have so much excess silk. Look at that. Well, a little bit of excess silk. These are all filled. Okay, we should definitely be producing enough silk now. That needs five stacks of wood. That's going to come in soon enough. Uh, I need to roadblock that. Okay, good. Okay, monument is now going to be on the way. Um... Carpenter's Guild. Mason's Guild. What do ceramists like? What do ceramists like? Rocks. Is it just too many trees here? Okay. You guys can walk around. That's fine. Okay. So we got the guilds down. We got the wood coming in. A building collapse? Oh. The logging shed. Uh... I mean, this is not a... Yes, for a festival. Okay, that should secure things. Okay, are we feeding all our people, by the way? What's wrong with you guys? Not enough music. And we do need another music school. Okay, good. We're almost at our target population, don't we? Which... We don't need to evolve these houses. We just need 3,500 people. Squeeze in a couple houses and we'll be good to go. Right? Nuwa can capture animals. Monuments on the way. Okay, hemp's in. 3,000 residences, look at that. Okay, okay, we don't need to evolve these houses anymore. We don't need ceramics. Can I stick a clay pit anywhere around here? No. It's fine, we'll figure that out. Okay, okay, monuments on the way. Trusted ally Nia. Look, I didn't... Foreign emissary from Nia. Ten jade carvings. Where's my weapons? By the way, here's ten jade carvings. Um... Do we need that for anything? Carve Jade. Sure, we'll take it into that. Okay. Money, not a problem anymore. Look at that, look at that, yes, okay. Which means we can think about the fancy housing area. I'll just clear off this wall. And maybe I'll leave it. Maybe I'll leave it. Fancy housing. There's a rock here. We clear these trees. Do we still have unemployment? We do. So with unemployment, we can... How many do you think we need? And how far does he go? I'll have to check. Okay. Accept the jade carvings. We're trying to get the weapons in as quickly as possible. Okay. 
Okay, fancy housing area. We'll go from this rock outwards in a nice L shape like that. Perhaps I should extend a bit longer, like that. So that I can move this a little bit closer here. Keeping those away from the rocks so that I can have the Grand Market Square a little bit closer like that. Okay. How many do we need? 150. That is... Six? The Grand Market's so big. Imperial Way. It doesn't look nice when you do that. Does it? It's like no good way of doing that. It's got to be more like that. How many people live in a heavenly compound? Is this the... Can I even fit enough houses here? Like, let's say one, two, three, four... Five. I can comfortably fit five. Dispatch now. Twenty-five. So I need... One, two, three, four, five, six. I need six. I clear that off by one. If this is absolutely cramped, but I worry about desirability. I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Any way to get... Oh, that works. Yes. That will save it. Okay. So what I need is a grand market square. With a food shop, but set this to minimum delish. No, tasty food. Right? One, two, three, four. Minimum tasty food. Hemp. Ceramics. Tea. Silk. Lacquer. Okay, so that's gonna be there. We'll definitely need a red residential wall going around that. Just for looks. Okay. So we have fish coming in. We have unemployment. So let's boost up fishing.
and also hook this road up for possibly quicker fishing access. I can't stand this block. Why? 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 Why is this such an issue? Three inspectors towers. Cannot. Something. Oh, something did actually burn down here. Look at that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. How? Oh, this guy's spawning on that side. This has all burnt down and collapsed. Oh well, well there's no more request anyway, so... What am I doing? Undo that. <laughs> okay, okay. This guy was spawning around the back. We have infinite money, so that's fine. Hemp paper looking amazing. Um, there's no demand for anything, right? So we have four types of food. Lots of fish should be coming in. This guy should be able to cover this, all the fishing. Yes. We still have unemployment. Hemp. We just need ceramics? Okay, but that should be... No, we should set up a little bit of a ceramics industry. Can I just have it along here? Okay, so that we can have ceramics come up to here. So we don't need tea here at all. This is gonna be hemp. And just accept. Since we're not providing ceramics to anyone else, we should probably just have a road Extend out this way. Have an inspector's tower. Have a warehouse. And just have... Getting of 8 silk. Accepting... 12 ceramics. Getting of... 8 tea. Probably don't need that much. So are these all down to four, excepting the 12 ceramics. Okay. We don't need the ceramics here. Good. So all the ceramics will just go to the rich people, the rest of you can live without pots. Sounds good to me, sounds good to you. <laughs> We are filled up on silk. Okay. Kyosang, thank you so much. Victorian soul, welcome. Now, so I need six of these. So I'll have one. Oh, we need the ceramics to even place them down. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we can do some planning. They'll probably need Ancestral Shrine. They'll need 
Herbalistol. They'll need Acupuncturist. What else will they need? Um, Throw a festival, yes. I forgot about the theater pavilion. This thing is huge and also does not like rocks. The theater pavilion! Mm. Taxes, I, I'm not even gonna bother taxing this, it's fine. Theater pavilion, that is a problem. Let me place down everything else first. They'll need a Taoist or Buddhist building, right? So a shrine, no problem, we can... Which one looks better? Taoist shrine. Confucian Academy. They need a Confucian Academy as well, right? And that doesn't like rocks either? One, two, three, four, five. Did they purposefully position these rocks so they would be just so? <laughs> I might have to adjust this road a little bit. What can I do? If I shift the road like this and bust down this road. Just get rid of it. Get away from those rocks. So maybe I... Squeeze over like that. Perhaps grand way like this. Grand way like that. Let's not use Imperial Ways, because it's just taking up a lot of space. So if we do this instead... One. Why? Why is that still not... Okay, two. Okay, two. Three, four, five. Is that too close to that rock? Our most hated rival Lhasa is attacking me, your ally Xiao Weng, the city of Nia. Four months. Hold on. Postpone. I forgot to stop stockpiling weapons. Is this even... <laughs> well, we'll send... One for the troops. I'm gonna save here in case I miss it. Totally forgot about military. Um, but yeah, this road is not gonna work. It needs to be one shorter. Then we can have a house here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the only problem... is the drama school entertainment no no not drama school um the theater pavilion we can go confucian academy can go there I unroad block that because it doesn't matter for aesthetics I will do this but open this to building inspectors so this guy can walk out here
15. Okay, I should be able to at least have one fourth of infantry. I shift to this road to go up a little bit and then back down. That looks a little odd. Move the acupuncturist. Just have this road Hug this way. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And it can fit here, but there might be some desirability problems. Let's put one house down. <laughs> it needs to be in a high desirability area. Okay, no problem. Uh, the grand way can continue there and there. Should be okay doing that, I think. Yes. Okay, let's have one house developed. Also, we should have 16 troops. Let us... Dispatch this. Enlisted dispatch. Yes. Meanwhile, I never built a palace. It's just non-stop doing things, isn't it? Okay, well. <laughs> Can I even squeeze the palace? If I get rid of this wall, we can have it along here. Sure. If I can just stick another infantry fort down and start training that. Okay. Okay. City needs more workers. Really? Food supply looks great, though. With actually too much fish. So let's cut back on fish. There we go. What was that? Collapsed building. The kiln. Because they're not reaching far enough. No problems. Stick a kiln there. It works too. Now I gotta see if this guy evolves. But besides that, we're going to need the other entertainment stuff. Clear these trees. Can have you know, not much is going near these rocks. So I probably could just have an acrobat school there. Because of the feng shui. Oh, it's too distant? Really? Okay. Close to building inspectors. We're going to need to have a mill back here. Up 
to here. Okay. You are going to be getting everything. Cabbage fish. Okay. This is going to be set to accepting. This road. That's not clear land. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, so we can redo this. Put that back. Get rid of this road. Inspector's tower. Roadblock there. Okay. We solved it, we solved it. Just so you guys know, this is a puzzle game. So we're gonna grab the food from here. Bunch of other stuff's also rushing back that way. 34 workers needed. We can shut down a couple weavers, I think. And a silkworm shed. Okay. Who likes paper? Does anyone buy paper? Are they uh, I suppose I could just give gifts of silk to everyone, request for animals. Which reminds me... You're unhappy. I have, like, a bunch of paper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do as Thomas suggested. Provide ceramic to just one housing block. I'm... Oh. Yeah, okay. That's that's a good idea. Um, why aren't these houses bothered? Oh, the mills reduce the neighborhood's appeal. Uh, that is a problem. Commerce. Ceramic shop. Because we are actually producing enough ceramics, aren't we? So we can actually probably evolve both of these. Though this is some desirability problems. Because this needs to be changed to a wall, unfortunately. and probably have a desirability building here. Not a private garden. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, Copernicus, thank you so much. Okay, there's the four food types. Market should be getting the four foods. Could I speed this up by just having a road here? Yes, right? So now the food can go between the two mills, fill things up real proper there. Okay, good. All right, the hemp is too distant as well, of course. Okay. So we're going to need to... Produces tea rice. Lacquerware tea, lacquer weapons tea. Kashgar sells Nia, sells salt, carved jade paper, sewn salt. Juices silkstone tea weapons. So Chang'an 
sells tea. But we are currently... Oh, they're the ones... Oh, we're just not trading with them. They want paper. Sure, have lots of paper. If our taxes slip, well, we've got 28,000. Do we finally have food? Yes, mushu vegetables. Hemp tea lacquerware. Okay. Now we can start providing the other things. Ancestral shrine can go there. Yes. Uh, we'll need a Taoist shrine. No wait, we we can just have the Confucian Academy. What? 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 Why is... I got rid of the trees. It's fine, I'll shift it over. Just clear all this. Clear all this. It's clear, it's fair. The road, it's getting the road. Okay, speed it up. Clear that. Just clear this. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Is it now impossible? need to shift away from here. It's because there's a rock there. Okay, I did actually save Nia. How do I solve this problem? Because I've, I've messed it up. Because I got rid of the trees and now the feng shui is a bit messed up. There's a rock there as well, right? Where is the rock for this? Because these are here, so obviously that's a rock. Perhaps down this way? No, that's also way too close. Gonna have to see what we can do here. Ah! Can it be on this road? Probably unlikely considering the rocks here. Okay. Is that good feng shui? I know, it's flickering. Okay. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. Does that reach the end? Probably. Food. 
hemp, ceramics, tea, silk, lacquerware. Speed it up. Food, ceramics, hemp, silk, all still there. Okay. Needs appeal of the neighborhood. Okay. I just need to make sure this house can actually survive here. Um, so where are the other houses going? Okay, this actually works out better. This actually works out better. Um, I need a Confucian Academy. with this road doing that I see desirability here might be a bit of a problem shifting this to here gives us one more tile so that I can actually put the red residential wall down. Have this open to that, open to that. I don't know if this guy's making it all the way down. He does not. Slow the game down. Clear some trees on the back here. Okay, that will make sure this doesn't burn down. Okay. You know, you get a grand way. Oh, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, is anything too distant? No, okay. Food. We are serving tasty food. Okay. Needs acupuncturist access, but that means it's supporting, so let's go one, two. Alright, it has to be in a highly desirable area. Uh, can I fit it here? One, two. I'm out of ceramics. Perhaps I'm providing too many ceramics. Or am I just not producing enough ceramics? Increase our ceramics production. That's because we grabbed a bunch of ceramics, right? Yes, that's why. I can fit. It's not desirable enough. One, two, three, four. Three. Not desirable enough. OK. 
can I get away with an Imperial way here? That's four. Need more ceramics. Okay. So we need six. Six. So need two more. And also acupuncturist. Okay. Alright, this is an acrobat school. I suppose that's fine. Uh, we probably need more music. This road no longer connected. I probably want it connected. But road blocked. Don't worry, I'm very skilled. Okay, food supply is looking okay. More ceramics are coming in. The monument is moving. Um, okay, okay. We're super rich. It's just the perfect feng shui is actually the hardest thing on a map like this because it's so cramped. But we are getting perfect feng shui. Look at that. Why is this not... I cannot access the labor pool. Oh, because I broke that road? Oh, because I built all of this. To there and just get rid of a row of trees there. Okay, <laughs> that works. Okay, okay. Sanex so coming in, so I want to have another house there, and I need one more which can go there. plan for it like that. Soldiers return. Welcome back. We have two forts of infantry. That should be more than enough for anything. There we go. That's six elite housing plus... Needs wares. Okay. Plus room for the theater pavilion right here. Okay, shifting the market down in the long run, actually better. Actually better. Can't go there. It's probably a way to squeeze things around a little bit, but uh, we will need Confucian Academy, right? We can go there, I just need this whole road road blocked off. I could put it there instead. That's probably okay. Right, there's plenty of paper. Okay. Um, can I get away with that? Is that gonna burn down? Is that a personal, like, entertainment thing going on? Does that burn down? It should be covered, right? Private garden? Fantastic. Wonderful. Um, you know, this is a higher class area. We should change the color of the trees. You guys don't get plums, you get peaches. Nia loves me? Well, how about you give me an animal? That's not good feng shui. No problem. Okay. Yeah, this is looking not bad. 
Tai Chi Park. Kablam! Tai Chi Park. That looks good there. That makes sense. Festival, yes. So now we need to be able to import things. So I'm actually probably just gonna, let's see, lacquer ware. Let's buy tea. Let's buy lacquer ware. Eight. Let's make it 12. Buy all the lacquer. Tea, lack aware, we can bring it over eventually. We probably should just have... Just get rid of these trees here. I can set this to getting lacquerware tea for each. And don't get these lacquerware and tea. Okay. Fix the feng shui. Oh! <laughs> Employees needed. One tree off. It's fine. That tree died. That happens sometimes. You know, sometimes things just die. You know, meanwhile... It's decoration time. One Saiga antelope. Thank you. Also... You're contented? No, we need the carved jade. Let's use the carved jade to get you down here. Exalted, fantastic. Get down here. And guys, it's decoration time. Bring the city to life. Okay. That looks pretty good. Slightly more serious colors down here. Uh, I want to change this into each trees. Is that still good feng shui? Yes. And with our insane amounts of wealth. Gotta break these up a little bit. Dragon sculpture. Defensive dragons there. Round wayside pavilion here. Okay, good. I have one there too. Bam. City decorated. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll garden up this way. I'll I'll probably make it look a little bit nicer. Later, it's fine. Okay, there we go. Garden that up to me. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Now it's a city. Now it's a city. How do you guys spot this? How do you guys see that it's not perfect feng shui? Like, so easily. <laughs> Thank you. 
Does it say up here? That it's not perfect. I see. Okay. This needs wares, okay. Uh, have we imported the stuff? Yes, T and wares are in. We just need to bring it up here. So now I just need to have the theater pavilion placed down and make sure we have a drama school. Right there. Okay, good, good. Nice, lovely, wonderful. Um, I have like a Kirin sculpture here. Oh, Noir is here. Go get me a panda. Hunting animals. Okay, good. We'll make sure she stays here. Oh, that's a little off, isn't it? Ow. But you must relax. Row of female sculptures to break up the shape of the gardens. Because I don't like them so much. Not across the river. Fill the gaps. Garden up to the edge of the city. <laughs> it's like makeup. It masks all the problems. I don't like these big boulders. Oh, no, that's not perfect feng shui. Scattered cherry trees. That actually works kind of nice as well. Okay. All right. That means wares. Wares are coming up here. Fantastic. Great. Good. Good. Uh, these guys. Oh, they need acupuncturist access to evolve further. Uh, it seems like we actually have enough ceramics to go around, so... Let's just provide it. This can go ahead and accept 16 ceramics. Okay, clear off this remaining rubble. Anua's still exalted? Where is she? We've got a panda. I hope the ugly two-legged creatures at the palace grow envious gazing upon my beauty. Now, we need to make people happy with things that we have. You like wheat, so I can give you, like, a whole bunch of wheat. Guangzhou, yeah. Yeah, we have plenty of wheat. Okay, fish is still looking okay as well. So how many animals do we need? Five. So I've got one, we can capture two. So I need... So Guangzhou's in the south. Liangshu likes paper, so let's give you paper. Sixteen. Okay, good. We're not even taxing the, the rich people. We probably should. I think I can fit it there. Yeah, we'll tax them, sure. Uh, that probably means we do need more paper making. Okay. Boost up paper making. Okay. Yeah, plenty of hemp, plenty of silk. 40 workers needed, really. Well, we are gonna be supplying ceramics to everyone, right? All 
Right, we need to import stone. Who sells stone? Guangzhou, Nia. Ah, Liangshu. Okay. We'll open trade and get their animal. Okay. File, save game. Guys. We've gone for two hours and we've finally stabilized our city. And this is going to be pretty good. Taoist or Buddhist building. I forgot about that. Buddhist shrine? I like the Buddhist shrine. The blue, the blue roof tiles is what gets me. Okay, so that's gonna spawn right there. We have drama, we have acrobats, we have musicians. Thirty-seven workers needed. I'm gonna deprioritize agriculture. Just keep safety on very high. Bunch more people are moving in. Oh, and it goes straight up to Heavenly Compound. And that is gonna get us to our target. Why is this not... It doesn't have a herbalist? So we need to move the ancestors. And we can't go there. Okay. You think a herbalist? A herbalist can't go through these gates. I have to get rid of the Tai Chi park. No Tai Chi for you. Okay. Liangzhu likes the paper. Agreeable. Okay. First, open trade. And I'm gonna... I probably should wait until our paper stocks come back up, right? Okay. Uh, desirability here. We can lose the watchtower. That's lost access to an acupuncturist. Can we perhaps fit an acupuncturist here? There's a Nua. I have some weapons. Joyful. Can you cross the river? Saiga, okay. Panda, okay. C can gods cross rivers? She take she takes the boat, okay. <laughs> Get me a salamander. Hunting animals, you should go grab that. Okay, good. Lost access to Ancestral Shrine. There's one right across the road. Also desirability. Is it the music school? Festival, yes. Oh, 
Perhaps I can change this road into a little bit of an imperial way. Does that help? Can't believe that's lost access to Ancestral Shrine. Where's the rock to crawl under? What's with the voice acting of the animals? What? Why are they so... <laughs> Lackluster, you could say. Okay. That's still coming along. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we have some balance issues here. This needs more appeal. This has lost access to an ancestral shrine. This can go here. I can have this open to religious devotees. That will stable stabilize the ancestral shrine. But what can I do about this desirability? Okay, we've got the salamander. Nuwa can leave. Okay, so that's going to evolve back up. What can I do here? It evolved! Wait, it's an impressive compound. The rest are heavenly. Wait, why did this evolve? What can I do? Get rid of the tax collector? Is that gonna tip it over? Use statues? Are statues actually better? How is nothing good feng shui? It's not enough, it's not enough. Single tile ones have better feng shui. Very most appealing. So it's gotta be most appealing. Very appealing is not appealing enough. It's gotta be most appealing. So. How about that? Oh. Enlist everyone. Dispatch. Is that enough? But is it not most appealing? No, it's still... Oh, it's most appealing. It says most appealing. But is it not most enough? It's not the mostest of appealing?
Is it? Okay. Well, there's another row of gardens on the back. I can replace these with statues. More woman statues. You guys can face the other way. What? It needs a Taoist or a Buddhist building. How? Really, he's been walking the same way every time. These guys like rocks. Yes. So I actually just need to clear trees. Okay. It still needs more appeal. Signs X, welcome. Like, it needs to be most appealing, but it is not most enough. I could replace these two trees with statues. Can I fit any other... Nobles. So small statues are supposed to have the best desirability per tile ratio. Turn these two trees into an imperial way. I suppose I could make this an imperial way. Will that work? Can I actually do that? If I s have to break this road, shift this road, change this road to do this, break that road, go to this imperial way, do that. Okay. Get those gardens back down. Did that do it? That did it! Ah! Oh, just needed a little bit of a fat road there. In six months we're gonna be attacked, huh? Oh, I disconnected that house. Hmm. Do, do this. What? What is in the way? Does that work? I don't know what's going on with the road here, but just in case to make sure it still continues to work. Okay, now in terms of being invaded... Is it at all possible to not die? 
We have a lot of money. Do you think we could buy them off? Do you think we could buy them off? We're getting an outrageous amount of tax. How much money do you think we need to buy them out? Buy them off? I guess we just wait for them to show up and see if we have enough money, right? I mean, we have 54,000. Can I ask you for an animal? No. I just have to send you more paper. Oh, wait, I should send them all animals. So send... Saiga antelope... No, you're a desert. Send you... Pandas. Guangzhou? I'll send you... A Saiga antelope. Wait, no. Who is I giving... Didn't I give Guangzhou wheat? Give you wheat as well. Okay. Well, we have... I think we've solved the heavenly compounds. We just need this to evolve. There we go. It should go up pretty quick. The feng Shui problem was difficult, but we've figured it out. Let's just make sure we don't buy anything. Four months. We almost certainly cannot... ...fight it. If I could just bribe them to not invade, that would be great. That would be great. I wasn't expecting to be attacked. Well, we have the heavenly compounds. Great. So it's just a temple complex. We actually have enough population. We need to get... one unit of clay. Right? So what I need to do... I'm just gonna keep this going. I'm going to play as if... We will not die. Yeah, I, made, I sent all my troops and made myself weak to the AI. Yes. I shouldn't have sent both forts. I forgot not all... Not, um... Just two months, okay. Permit. One Gobi Bear. Thank you. I got antelope. Okay, good, good. Wangju, respectful. Can I send you a... No, no. Gobi bear. And I'll also send you a salamander. So we have four animals. We need the slab of clay to finish that. I mean, I could reload to what we... The, the previous save before that was probably pretty far. Let's just see if we can bribe them. Let's just see what we can do. Probably should be just trying to tax these houses, but it's just... Yeah, in one month... 
We have the ox. No, let's save all the money we can. Captured an enemy spy, okay. If conquered, can't you just conquer them back later? It's incredibly hard. I mean, I think you can, but it's hard. Yes! Economic solution. 15,000? Pocket change. Pocket change! Ding, 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 ding. Permit. Another goby bear, thank you. Permit. A wild pig, wonderful. Invaders paid off. It's time to celebrate! The Chinese forces from Lanzhou were overcome not by force, but by their own greed. No harm has come to our city, thus the cash you gave. The Chinese forces was well spent. Save game. F for... Fantastic. <laughs> we get to enjoy the action music for a little while. Um, I'm giving these guys ceramics, but they're not evolved because we never gave them acupuncturist access. Those of you watching on YouTube, you can leave your hate comments down below. Unsolvable problem. Acupuncturist. I think I should just get rid of a house. Maybe this is fine. Acupuncturist. Where's the watchtower? We don't need watchtowers. Acupuncturist. These two didn't get it. Permit. A tiger. Another tiger. Okay. Hold on. I just replaced the watch. Oh, that's got an acupuncturist. Oh, this one never got a watchtower. No, no, undo that. Oh, no, it did. Yes, that one. Oh, and they need acrobats. We certainly have a lot of weapons. Request for fish? Sure. Acrobat schools there. Okay. That should get acrobats going around the city. I never had a... Well, a music school doesn't have to be here. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
I can switch off entertainment in the elite housing. Yeah, and then these guys are just gonna walk the same way every time and miss things. I've got stuff doubled up down here because of the road structure is garbage. But feng shui and our new style dictates so. Okay, so we have enough animals. We've actually got six. So now we just have to finish this with the 14 blocks of stone, which means... Did they never open trade with me? Let's send them a gift of... paper. Come on, Gangshu. I need you to open trade. I need the stone. Can we import the stone too? Wait, these don't like rocks, right? They like green grass. Surprisingly rare commodity. Like it can't go here, right? Why doesn't it like it here? Is it the trees? Ah. There we go. So we can have a trading station there. We just have to have... Open trade. Come on. They're admiring now. So we just need the stones. And that's it. Good, we have plenty of unemployment, so I'm not gonna delete or disable anything. I guess I just re-enable these things. <laughs> we can't even harvest any more hemp. Okay, okay. Ah, <sighs> we can win before the three hour mark, I'm pretty sure. We just need Yang Shu to say yes to the dress. Come on. Say yes. Victorious soldiers return. Fantastic. Uh, they like the paper. Okay. So we should be getting... The trade agreement soon. Yes. Yes. Commerce, trading station, sure. go right here, set this, buying all the stone we can. It's gonna take two years. Are they the only source of stone? I think they are. Yeah, they're the only source of stone. Well, and decorate a little bit while we finish things up. Okay, there we go. Uh, is there anything else that we want to be doing? No, those are not good feng shui. Okay, this is the Carpenter's Guild, so we probably don't need that anymore. That's the Mason's Guild. Let's celebrate. You're the tiger. Don't need that. I can go ahead and do... We got 5,000 people. Oh, I can't do this until I can get rid of all these buildings, right? That's a Mason's Guild. We don't need the Ceramist Guild anymore. So let's get rid of that. Can I shift? Just have a bunch of Masons. Clear this. So I can do my decoration.
Okay. I can actually do the rest of this road as well. I cannot click any of this. Get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> That's the decoration we're doing through here. Uh, some of these are rotated badly because of... Uh, I should just probably better without, right? Yeah, it keeps the flow better that way. Okay. Build a lower valley, yes, good. Okay. <laughs> That's weird decoration. Come to come to Asia. You just have rows of archways. Look it up. They do it in Japan all the time. I'm from Asia. I see this. <laughs> they usually have it like going up hills or through nice parks or something. Sometimes they grow vines on the archways. You know, they do all sorts of things. Oh, it has no access to a road. Apologies. Okay, there we go. Well, those gaps, they're good. The trick is to fill every nook and cranny. This is how you know the game is actually really pretty. You can just place things randomly. Just fill up with food shops so there's no gaps in the markets. And it still looks great. Like this is not done efficiently at all. <laughs> Which city is this? I can Google it to see if this temple has archways. I don't know. It probably does not. This is Luoyang, and this is the temple complex. It's probably got a specific name. We have enough clay. We can get rid of this. Okay, so how much do we need? Oh, we have enough stone. Okay, guys. This is victory. We did it. We did it. Just as we're approaching 2 hours 50 minutes. Obviously this could be done a lot better. Don't mind the mills emptying of food. We actually just like doubled our number of uh food food stalls. The food in the mills just being shifted into the markets. Not the prettiest city I've done. I think the Grand Canal City is still the prettiest I've done. I like the leftover military walls though. Those look nice actually. And just a little bit. See this? That's a really nice way of decorating with these, I'm sure. I should start using military walls as decorations. Because we know we never use them functionally. <laughs> have I ever been to Japan? No, have not. Okay, let's slow the game down. Is this almost done? It just needs four masons? Can I? Oh, 
is the... I mean, that's the one we want to not have. Okay. Just need two masons, which are there. And here we go. Just save right here. Yes, overwrite the victory one. And the grass is put in. This is quite a joyous occasion. The most harmonious temple complex has been completed. You will be remembered by Nuwa, the creator goddess, for this great accomplishment. Uh, you know, that's not the prettiest garden in there either, so... Okay. <laughs> Close enough. The city is now worthy of a Buddhist hero. Ah. But that is victory. Once again, Luoyang is a beautiful and vital city. As chief municipal minister, you have done an excellent job directing the rebuilding. Its unrivaled beauty is truly something to behold. In fact, Empress Wu is so fond of Luoyang's magnificent new temple complex that she has appointed her lover, Shi Waiyi, as its abbot. He in turn has discovered a mysterious religious text, the Cloud Sutra which provides evidence that our very own Heavenly Empress is the worldly reincarnation of Maitreya, the future Buddha. All the heavens rejoice! This Sage Empress is starting to sound a little... This is what causes the end of a dynasty. Now, I don't know the history. I don't know the history. I don't know uh, how the Sage Empress did. <laughs> But we're coming to the end of the Tang Dynasty, so I feel like things are about to fall apart. <laughs> right? That is end of Dynasty behavior right there. Right? Right? Right. Anyway, that, in just under three hours, is Luoyang, the eastern capital. Not the prettiest city I've made, but uh, it worked out. It worked out. I think I'm still struggling to find that balance of how much I should expand at the start, you know, like how quickly I should expand. And I think I overdid it a little bit today. If I pulled back a little bit next time, I think it'll work out better. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this mission for today. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to check out so much more content on the channel. We have over a thousand five hundred videos now. Um, so there's a lot for you to see. There's also links down below if you'd like to support the channel. There's a Humble Bundle referral link which you could use. And check out all the social medias as well, which I do post to if you'd like to see those. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye!